And we're off to Oswestry Street in Shropshire. Uh, Oswestry Street is near Shrewsbury and um, they make uh, balloons there. It's a company called Lindstrand Balloons and uh, we're going to go and have a look to see how the balloon's progressing. It's been sewn as we speak apparently and it's nearly finished so we have to get there in a fair hurry so they make sure they don't finish it before we get there. Why do we have to go all the way to Shropshire? Is there no one closer? Bristol. Spain, uh, Czech Republic. So, um, yeah, no, I think Shropshire's the, uh, the closest. Um, I got quotes from everybody else, and uh, the graphics on the one from Lindstrom was the best. So, well, it's funny because I um, built. Um, well, I worked in Lindstrand as well before, but uh, on the, the global, the Round the World project, and I never wanted to fly the ones I built. And I thought, hmm, that's a bad sign. Whereas other people prefer to fly the ones they've built because, of course, they know it's been built properly. So, I, for me, it's um, I trust the sewers. I've seen, I've flown many of their balloons before, so I, I'm quite happy with it. it. Doesn't you know? I don't have a um, an opinion about it really. They do a good job. So I think I'd start worrying about it if I really looked into it. It's a bit like being a vegetarian, you know. Once you sort of think about it and about eating meat and where it comes from, you start thinking you won't do it. But, uh, so I think I'm in denial, that's probably it. Uh, this is the infamous balloon factory and uh, this is Angela, our wonderful seamstress, who's Hello. had the job obviously of sewing this. Apparently two girls now work on the balloon. In my day you had uh, one seamstress had one balloon and she did the whole thing. Now we have two parts, the one on the left and the one on the right. So Angela's just doing some finishing touches to one of the themes here. And you can see there's different material. This is called ripstop nylon, and it's coated in a polyurethane coating to make sure that you don't lose too much of your hot air once it's in there. This is the actual way it's been built. So this is how it's been flat, so all the panels look like this. And she has to go down each seam to sew them and then across. I think that's the S in university, if my spelling's correct. So we'll see what the next letter is. And then uh... this is the Nottingham University balloon. And um, they were, I've been given the grant to get the balloon and fly it over the Great Wall of China. Um, uh, that's going to be hopefully in next year. And at the same time, I'll hope to go to the various campuses like Ningbo in China and also to Malaysia, the Malaysian campus. So. I think they just like the proposal I made to them and the idea of um, the balloon uh, with the university that was very striking when we got the, the visual of the balloon. I put it in as a proposal and um, when you saw the, the picture of the balloon you just wanted to buy one because it's a great advertising thing. Uh, you just see the Nottingham University logo there and everybody notices balloons. They're very photogenic, uh, people like to take photographs of them so I think it's just a great way to promote it. And not only can you have it flying, but you can also have it on the ground on good days and, and do what they call tether, which is tie the balloon off and take people up and down. So we can do some PR around maybe to recruit students or something like that. But it, I think they just felt it was quite a good way to get the visual impact of Nottingham University. And hopefully we'll get some people to photograph it and put it um, and remember it really. So. And in Nottinghamshire, we get a lot of, um, there's a ladybird balloon that flies and everybody knows the ladybird balloon. Everybody says to me, oh, are you in the ladybird balloon? And I don't fly it. So now they'll say, oh, are you in the Nottingham University balloon? And I'll say yes, because they know I work for the university. So. Well, I think I've got the Nottingham now. <laughs> this is the NOT, so uh, I think we can see the O and the T and the T.